want the chefs to adopt me. Can they adopt me? It's so good. If you want to know how defiling authentic South Indian Sri Lankan flavours and food taste like, Nadodi is the place to go. At Nadodi, they take pride in taking familiar flavours and bringing them to a whole new level with a creative modern twist. But I guarantee you, the authenticity isn't lost along the way, which I think is hard to do. The appetizers huh, were definitely chef's kisla. This is the Pesaratam Masala Tose. Yes, Tose, which is a common breakfast dish in South India and Sri Lanka. This baby Tose's exterior is made from mung bean crepe and is stuffed with potato mash and topped with peanut chutney. This is like probably the tiniest Tose I've ever eaten in my life. Sumpa, eh? this bite, right, tastes exactly like how it does when you bite into a Tose. It's so good. The green pea and moringa sodi tart, which was part of the surprising duo, was oh my god, like Sri Lanka in a bite la. Sumpa didn't look like sodi at all. Nampa macam you know the tart you see in some French bakery. Tapi bila telan. What is going on in my mouth? <laughs> my god, it's like Friday night cream early. Ma ai. And guess what the tart is made from? The dough of muruka and it's filled with drumsticks, so the mousse. Gorgeous. Mm. We also tried the beetroot opaline. Ni macha Sri Lankan tacos. The shell is made from beetroot juice and kat dalam is the sini sambal and ricotta among other yummy stuff. Mm. It's not spicy at all, the onion sambal. It's just, it's more sweet. The ricotta cheese is like creamy but like it's so clean. So part of the main course was Squid Game. Grilled seasonal hotaru ika served alongside hot lentil red rice dish. See the green babies there? Huh? They are Mexican miniature watermelon. But now we think oh, makan sini ya, macam sedap sedap sambil belajar. My fave kind. Yo, the next highlight uh, that stayed in my mind was the fresh water prawns from Sabah served with this yummy kadondong sauce. Unexpected or not? Confirm one. We sit up, we bro. The next course, where do I start? La? Cut the crab, gave me a glimpse of heaven. La. My heaven, la, sure got this pillowy idli sitting comfortably on a bit of lobster claw salad, surrounded by a sea of this gorgeous, flavorful Sri Lankan crab curry. Whoosh, da. We also tried fishful thinking, which is Japanese shima aji fish with tortellini stuffed with gooseberry salad. Nelika la, Indians confirm no one. And sumuani dudo on a broth of rasam and dashi stock. Unexpected yet brilliant. You can taste the, the tartness of the tomatoes. And then, but the aftertaste, like right after, is very dashi, very Japanese. Quack, quack! Duck from Bidor Pera, young aged in koji, which is fermented rice mixed in warm spices, keeping it local while adding new flavours. Inspired by Malabar duck mapas, Quack Quack also features tapioca tempered with mustard seeds and spiced confit lake croquettes. Bro, this lamb was so tender, it was like savoury chocolates melting in my mouth la. You know what, I don't love red meat because gay meat can usually, but this one was cooked mm. to perfection. Oh man, that's so good. <laughs> that is melt in your mouth. Yeah. Now I totally understand why we call it seductive. The peppery chetina dry rub gave it such a unique flavour without taking away the flavours of the lamb. I am a sucker for desserts and boy did muruka and chai blow my Indian mind away. It's basically masala chai ice cream served with a dollop of thick cream of chickpeas and caraway seeds. It tasted and smelled exactly like how fresh muruka batter is. I immediately thought of the rush and joy of the week leading to Deepavali. What a perfect way to end this journey of South Indian and Sri Lankan flavours. Best marriage ever. This top three, 10 over 10. Definitely one of my favorite desserts, like ever. I want the chefs to adopt me. Can they adopt me? It's so good.